Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Titus, Mid Valley Mercenaries, and I thank you today for joining me. Thank you to all you guys that watch this channel and support this channel. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate you guys. appreciate all the thumbs up that you give. I appreciate you guys subscribing, commenting, all that stuff. I really do, and I need to say it more often. The other day, I met somebody at the golf course out of town, not even where I live, and they said, hey, love the channel, really like it a lot, and just some random dude walking by, about 6'6", six, six, gnarly beard, and I was like, all right, man, thanks. I'll send there carrying my golf clubs, so it's pretty cool. But on this video, what it is, we have the Flyways Collective, Duck Gun Chronicles, Freelance Duck Hunting, Virginia Outdoors Unlimited, High Prairie Sportsman, and Outdoor Limits. And all these dudes are legit and awesome guys, and I mean that. I would not be promoting them on my channel. I would not be hanging out with them. These guys are true, passionate, ethical duck hunters, and I really do mean that. Like, they be, We've become friends. Uh, we talk all the time. We text all the time with each and every one of these guys. And uh, truly, I am blessed to say that they're my friends now and that we can hunt together and have a good time. Uh, they're good shots. They're ethical. They're um, fun to be around. We have a lot of laughs. Kind of rib each other and some what we may do that on these reaction videos. Kind of give each other a hard time. But it's really fun. And I really enjoy watching their hunts and seeing their flyway and how things are. We have a group, so this group is called the Flyways Collective. If you guys want, you can subscribe to the Flyways Collective channel. I'll put that down in the description below if you want to. We're going to all kind of individually upload content to there, and hopefully together too as well. Also, subscribe to each one of their channels and support them because... And the reason I say that is, and I was thinking about this the other day, I'm not pushing them just because I have to or that was the deal we made. Really, you guys should check out their channels. And you know, everybody has their own different style. And you guys obviously support this channel and you watch my videos, so you like my style. But when you start knowing these guys on an individual basis, on a personal level, that's when you realize like these guys are legit and you even enjoy the video even more. So check them out. And uh, let's get started without me yakking anymore about this. Title is Epic in your face small water duck hunt. I have been accused many times of using that word epic too much, but I tell you what, when it involves duck hunting and there's lots of mallards or birds or wherever this is going to be, uh it's epic. I'm sorry. You know, every day is awesome, every day is fun, but epic that word is just described. So let's hit the play button here. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Done. Over. I don't I'm not watching more. It's over. It's mallards. 1000 mallards dropping in. My reaction is, it's crazy! That's sick. Like sick as in ridiculous. Oh! It is nice and cold oh this morning. We got northwest Good old wind. Josh. We're on just a little pond that we've seen ducks just pouring into, which is right next to the pond that we hunted yesterday. But they wanted to be in here, not the big pond, which is surprising. We got two A-frame set, and Hayden, Tim, and John once again. I'm hoping for a four man by nine o'clock. That's how confident I am right now. Four man by nine o'clock, okay. Knock on wood. Pack it up, boys. We're done. <laughs> but sun's coming up. We got the decoys out, two dozen Northwest decoys. wind, that's like the, the money floaters. wind right there. I bet we'll get it done. Let's kill some ducks. It begins. You guys want to shoot these? <clears throat> shoot them. You can tell it's windy. They just float in there. They don't even have to flap, are they? It's probably before shoot time. Oh, we're here to hunt, not watch. I don't think I've seen this one. <laughs> Just the wind and the overcast makes me punt for duck hunting. That wind, you know, like when it's windy, you're going to have a good day. Be ready. 90% like of the time. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. Tag him. Makes me sick. This is good, as good or better than Canada. One, two, three. 
only four guys. I'd take that. You know what, that guys talk a lot of smack about I think one of them was a hand. not dropping 30 birds when you have four guys, but I've never now, seen any Now, if we group. can get that over and over and over again, we'll be done quick. Rain it can happen Rain to everybody. out, as Hayden says. You can drop a ton of ducks. There's only two guns shooting there. <laughs> really? Oh, only, yeah. oh, only two guys shot. Oh, I wasn't even recording. Oh, no. I don't think, unless I just double hit this. Let's see. Tell if you, you can, if everybody can knock down there. two birds a piece, that's really good. Because I'm telling you, when they come in groups like that, it is hard to focus on pick out one bird. You have to do it. Our first couple of volleys in Canada was really rough for us because sure you you, it's just like there's so many birds <laughs> 10 yards away, 8 yards away. You're just like, ah, you never see nothing like that, you know. <coughs> That's, and then after like the third volley, it's like, okay, now you're picking out. You're not just aiming into the group. And you know that. I've been hunt hunting long enough. But to do it because you're under that just like awe of all those birds, it's crazy. It's just working, man. It's just one of those days. Here they go. He's going to do it. Just a little flutter. I love when they're just barely just fluttering. Oh, the tip's coming down the pipe. <laughs> Get down. Get Where down. Is <laughs> Where is he? Kill him. One. There we go. Nice. Josh got two. I think he got. Oh, is he getting away? He got away. I think got three. Look, like Josh got two. Missed the first time. Or, I don't know, unless that was the other guy's shot. I have to watch that again. We're up to three drakes and two hens. These are nice shots that we're getting right in the face. I wish I got the big group on this camera. I had it all there. Just uh, might have not hit the record button all the way. When your hands get all cold, you lose your feeling and it's hard to tell. I, I should have just looked for the red dot, but oh well. Five ducks, 15 to go. You want to talk about perfect setup? Here we go, boys. I can tell you what, here in California, we got the seven bird limit. They got the five mallards, and then they can do their bonus stuff. They could shoot that so much, like, without blinking an eye. It's funny how it is, different flyways. Oh, yeah. Here I feel like come. they got just as many or more. I feel like they got a lot more mallards, but they still constrict them. I love it when they do that. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. They're just whiffling in there. Take them. Take them out. Both their brothers. Ooh. Did he just scotch double? Ooh, he got the second one. Who so. shot the hand? Hayden. I saw you do that, you dirty dog. Everybody harasses everybody about shooting hand. And we've all done it. <laughs> I think he scotch doubled. Hey. Look. Yeah. Four, five. I got at least five out of that. That was awesome. Shot three. Four? Four. We shot four out of there. Oh, there's five. Now we just need to do that a couple more times. That was awesome. I saw them set up right, came in, swung out, gave them a call. They did exactly what I wanted them to do. You know, Hayden, I don't think you need a pattern master. Did you see how tight your pattern was at 30 yards, mm -hmm. 25? Yeah, but you know. Not yeah, whoever hit that one, it's pillowcased him. That, that super black eagle comes with those extended chokes already. Where's John going? Four? It went down to the big pond? Yeah. Oh, dang. Huh, a little cold front. That's all you need. Yep. That's what I've been saying for about a month now. Yep. All these four duck, two geese days, four geese, two duck days. A little cold. That's all we need. Oh, look at that green. Oh, I love it when they're face down like that, just barely kicking. Mallards, bro. Look how orange those legs are. So we got six. One of them went over 
landed on that other pond that we were hunting. One of them landed up in this grass. Hopefully I'll find it. There he is. That was easy. There we go. Two more, man. <laughs> One minute to go. Quick. Mallard, bro. I'm actually curious now if Josh is going to get a, a dog. Day. We're up to 11 ducks. Got some geese to play. They were maple leafing. I love it when they do that. <clears throat> So cool. I'm curious if he gets a dog because now he's got a house and stuff. Like he was talking. We're not. Not that I think everybody needs a dog. I didn't have a dog for a long time. Years. It's not years, even years. been an hour yet. Now that I have one, I love it. And I don't like feel like I would go without it, but I still don't think anything less while. like, oh, you need a dog. Hmm? 725. 725 is when we shot? It's a lot of work, man. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Especially with the first couple of years. I'm digging it. It's a good day. Very good day, Josh. <laughs> Cool. I've only done pond hunts like that a few times and they are they're fun. Yep. Mm -hmm. Getting a big push of birds, man. That ain't you don't just they don't group up like that Thank unless you. you're pushing. Let's see what you do. Man. See and Josh is like I am. That's awesome to do that and shoot, but at the same time, you're like educating all those birds. So I know him and his guys and all of us, most all duck hunters like him in twos and threes and fours. I shouldn't say you're educating, but you kind of semi are, and I'm not saying that negative. But all duck hunters, including Josh, I know, said like, oh, it's nothing better than when they do it in twos or threes. Because you know you're not going to knock all those birds down. It's still epic, though. It's still epic. You've got it. I've experienced that a few times in life. Though. Just shoot one. I think they're getting close to the end of their limit. Maybe. Looks like Josh has the kicks high flyer trip on I think. I'm not mistaken. Take him! Here we go, here we go. Before we did three? I got one. Two, I'm going to tell two. you something about this. Personal so experience. Three. See how hard that wind's blowing from behind their back? The wind's perfect. Look at this. Just maple leaf, and like Josh said, coming in here. Did you see how they were almost standing still right there when they were coming we're in? Three ducks away from a four man limit of mallards. And so you get the urge to stand up and shoot, but that wind's in. hanging them up. It's and so if you don't make your first shot this count, when I was watching them, I'm like, that wind's blowing like them so the hard. All they do is just Instagram. open up their just wings and turn, and they're right 20 yards the away line. that way by the time you take your second shot. So they could be at 30 by the time today. you take your second. So it's hard. We had the right these are hard. I know they're in his face. Wind, they're nice These guys' scouting. face, but those are hard because after your first shot, together, they're gone. We're crushing Fast. it. One hour in. Done that so many times. Yeah, we're only one hour in from the first shot fired. We need three more ducks. Oh, my goodness. So they're at 17 ducks in one hour. I bet we'll be done. Awesome. This is an incredible hunt, Josh. I just, I'm just kind of curious. You know, I don't. I was looking at my phone when this hunt happened. I didn't see any text, emails, nothing. I didn't remember him inviting me. I thought he said he did, but huh. must have missed it. Take him. <coughs> Ooh, nice shot. One shot, one bird. I'm just giving him a hard time. <laughs> He actually invited me out last year in December to come out, and I just I was working. I couldn't do it, and it was epic. I've been told I use that word too much, but uh, hunts like this, sorry, it's epic. It don't just happen every day, so I will continue to use that word. <coughs> Boom, boom. Nice shooting, boys. Woo! Woo! Blake in this hunt? Oh, no, there's five of them. I thought there was four. That's a four-man limit. Wait. 8.43. At 8.43 in the a.m. Told you we'd be limited out by nine. Oh. <laughs> and then go to breakfast. And more ducks are coming. 
it's a good day. Now, the fun so, part. Hayden's got decoy gloves. All <laughs> right, time to pick everything up and show you guys the birds. Slight change of plans. We're gonna stay here for a little while, see if we can shoot some geese maybe if they come over. Maybe a pintail, widgeon, whatever if it comes in. Uh, and we'll take some video. I got the GoPro set up in the middle of the pond here, so hopefully we can get some saucy stuff. It'd be sweet. So we got nowhere else to be. It's only nine o'clock. Might as well have a little fun while we're out here. Josh does some good B-roll. Seemed like last year he's gotten even a lot better. Like, I like that camera he uses. Then he's slowing it down at certain parts, looks sick. Trust me guys, it's not easy keeping a camera focused on decks. It's hard. That's that right there, just slows it down. <laughs> just get your blood boiling. Just thick birds too, just fat, thick, thick feathers, just dense from building up for the winter. Just dropping from the heavens. What a day. We shot a four man limit of mallards in hour and five minutes. One hour and five minutes? Yep. <laughs> I'd say an hour and a half, but who's counting? I don't know, it doesn't matter when it's that short. This is this was an awesome hunt. Yeah, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> but here's the birds. You know how much guys would pay to get a guided hunt One on limit. that kind of hunt? <clears throat> Two limits. A lot. Three limits. Four limits. That's awesome. Mallards, bro. Yep. They did it right. They just. Oh! I can't wait to watch this video. It's gonna be sweet. We got some birds to clean, so I'm gonna sign off here. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, and then you guys can see all the videos I post and get notified and all that fun jazz. Also, leave a big old thumbs up for getting clouds of mallards into this tiny pond yeah guys hit a thumbs up if on this video follow me on my social media I've hit got a thumbs Twitter, up for Instagram, josh snapchat there's his in social media there, if you want to check them out what's going on you can also click the link in the description of this video and pick up some apparel hats hoodies duck calls goose calls just click the link below but that's all i got for you guys today ain't that a pretty sight yes it is my friend and i'll catch you on the next one all right that was a good that was a good video that was awesome he knows he knows He's got to, he'll stick that, he'll stick that mallard video right in my face because he knows he just, I just drool over those mallards. But that was a great video. He puts t videos together very well. Loved the intro. And then he just kind of gets you pumped and excited for the hunt and then shows the hunt and then does some B-roll. That's like about as, that's, well, that's kind of what I want and expect out of a duck hunting video. I like that. You know, uh, sometimes it's easy like myself or some of us, sometimes you get caught talking too much. You're just into it and it's like, okay, now everybody wants to sit there and listen to me talk. I can be bad at that sometimes, but you know, doing the B roll and all that stuff takes time editing. He puts a lot of times in time into his work and you can tell. And so really enjoyed that one guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, check out our new merch. We got awesome merch guys in the store, midvalleym.com. Check it out. Subscribe to our channel, hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell so you know when every video comes out. And also check out our podcast, The MBM Show. It's on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Android, anything you want to listen to it on, you can check out more of it. We're put out about one, for sure one to two a week. And we have guests like Outdoor Limits on there. We have Freelance Duck Hunting, Duck Gun Chronicles. We've had Alex Lingbell. We've had uh, Chris Akins, a duck dog trainer. Incredible. That's who I use for Rocky. So we got a lot of good guests on there. Uh, just not me yakking all the time, but people that I think you guys would all enjoy. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>